Whew. My goodness. Brad, you, there's nothing like this level of unity and passion and energy that oh, dudes and dudettes welcome back to the channel man sincerely appreciate you being here with me on today so i've been wanting to do this video for a very long time now today is the day we're going to get my reaction to the haka for those of us that don't know what it is or that need to be more specific in what we believe it to be the haka is a ceremonial maori war dance or challenge haka are usually performed in a group and represent a display of a tribe's pride strength and unity actions include stomping on the foot the protrusion of the tongue and rhythmic body slapping to accompany a loud chant the words of a haka often poetically describe ancestors and events in the tribe's history. The haka is performed traditionally when two parties met as a part of the customs around encounters. For example, the haka was used on the battlefield to prepare warriors mentally and physically for battle, but it was also performed when groups came together in peace. Today, haka are still used during ceremonies and celebrations to honor guests and show the importance of the occasion. This includes family events like birthdays, graduations, weddings, and funerals. Haka are also used to challenge opponents on the sports field. The New Zealand rugby team, the All Blacks, performed the haka before each match in a stunning show of strength and physical prowess. The All Blacks use kamate as their haka, which was composed in the 1820s by the chief, Te Raupahara, Ra Raupahara. The words to this particular haka have become famous around the world since it became a part of the pregame ritual of the All Blacks. The Black Ferns, New Zealand's women's rugby team, are also famous for performing rousing haka. The haka they perform before an international match is called the Ko Uhuya Mai, which means let it be known, and was composed by Wetu Tipawai, Tipiwai. One common misconception around the haka is that it should be only performed by males. While there are some haka that can only be performed by men, there are others that can be performed by anyone and even some women only haka. Non Maori are welcome to learn the haka. Yes! However, it's important that you respect the culture and, tra and traditions behind the dance. Learn the words and make sure you understand the meanings behind the chants, the significance of a particular haka, and what you are trying to express when performing it. Dope. All right, so now we're going to jump into videos of people doing the haka. I'm already getting chicken skin. has been received hard bro they put so much energy and emotion into it i guess the reason that it tears me up is because how often does somebody put that level of energy into something that they're doing on a daily basis when's the last time you output that much energy and passion into something you know what i'm saying so I, man it just moves me in an incredible way
it's so beautiful and, and it's just that it's so rooted in its tribal nature and its tribal element and it's whew, it's just incredible man it's just incredible to see this level of passion Just what it means and the and the everybody doing it together and being on one accord is just it, man there's something absolutely spectacular about it <sighs> my goodness Brad you there's nothing like this level of unity and passion and energy that comes out of something like this there there's there's no equivalent or there's the equivalent in, in other religions or other cultures that they would do whatever their similar version of this is but i'm saying as far as i've been able to see in my years growing up there's there's nothing like this bro this thing is centuries old and it still unites them as a people as a brotherhood as a as a community as a as a culture still it's just beautiful to think that this has been going on since damn near the inception of the maoris is oh man i have no words to describe what I'm feeling right now, the energy that's coursing through me because of watching this. I wish that I could be a part of something like this, this type of brotherhood, this type of culture that sticks together. This is this is f fabulous to see. All right, if you want, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me react to more hakas, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section. Share this video, like the video. Let me know what you thought about it, man. I, I've like I said, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time and i just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that i have nothing but respect and really awe and admiration for these these people the culture and their unity and the fact that this is a centuries old thing that they're still doing and it reminds them of their roots and their current togetherness and it's just it's, it's an absolutely spectacular thing to witness and I can only imagine feeling how I'm feeling now, how much more of an emotional wreck I'd be if I were to witness this firsthand. I tell you what, if I were to see that on the battlefield, I'd probably think twice. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate you being here with me in this video. Continue to subscribe, continue to leave your comments, and I pray I see you in the next one. Bye.